just six cylinders in a drumline turning diesel into torque? That's right, this is the 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 Duramax. Man, I feel so tough right now. Do I look tough? No? Okay, whatever, let's talk about this truck and why you might want or not want a diesel in your half ton. That's not a euphemism. If you're shopping for a diesel truck or any kind of truck, visit us at Edmunds.com and make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 1500 is what I'm interested in because, I don't know, I would call it sort of the most consumer truck. Like this is the truck you might have as a daily driver to do some towing, some adventuring, but now it is available with a diesel engine. Every 2500 and 3500 heavy duty pickup truck comes with a diesel option and they sell very well despite being more expensive than the gas engines. The same hasn't been true for the 1500 series half ton trucks until Ram reintroduced a diesel in 2014. Before that, it was gas engine only. Why does that matter? Well, diesel engines are cool because they make a lot of torque. That's the muscle part of the engine and it helps for easier towing. They also offer better range and fuel economy than a gasoline engine carrying the same weight. Diesels are especially good at providing respectable fuel economy and range while towing, which makes them very popular with people who have horses or boats or race cars or big camper trailers or pretty much anything that you might need to carry from one place to another. The three liter straight six Duramax in the 1500 is so quiet and chilled out that you would never even know it was a diesel if you didn't see the badge. I haven't been in any diesel vehicles that I would describe as a rocket ship, but it is plenty quick. We're moving. Because the three liter Duramax is a smaller engine than what's available in the heavy duty trucks, I like to call it the Baby Max. But it makes 277 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque, which is a very grown up number. The three liter is backed by a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's really nice. It shifts smoothly on hills and while towing and as we are unladen right now, I don't even notice the shifts, it's effortless. It doesn't pull quite as effortlessly as its heavy duty siblings, but the 1500 still has cool trailering tech and it is more than ready to take some dirt bikes or a small camper out for the weekend. Speaking of trailer tech, this thing has 15 different camera views. You can see everything that's happening, everywhere, in space even. You guys, you guys, you guys, there's a buffalo right there. There's two buffalo. That is so cool. Hey guys, do you like my truck? Every time I get into a big truck, I'm always sort of thinking, am I gonna be able to see out of this thing? Is it gonna be hard for me to drive because I am not a big person? Seat moves up, steering wheel moves down, visibility is great, and also did I mention 15 camera angles? This thing is fine. I've been in small cars that were harder to see out of. But you might be watching this and going, well, I am a big person, so is it gonna be comfortable for me? And that is why I have driven around with many big people this week, and they have all said that they have plenty of room, including in the back. Another big question whenever you get into a truck is, is it gonna handle like a truck? Is it gonna ride like a truck? We're gonna be bouncing around in here and having to slow down to 10 miles an hour for even the slightest corner. No, no, actually you don't. The suspension is tuned really well. We were driving around in the mountains and it was not a problem. We were able to keep up with traffic. We didn't feel big and unwieldy. Now, if you're already a GMC fan, you kind of already understand the vibe of GMC. But if you're not, you might be wondering, what is GMC compared to Chevy, which is a, a sibling company? Or, you know, where does GMC fit in the truck market? GMC describes itself as premium pro. So is the Sierra meeting that luxury idea? Okay, it's kind of interesting because from a driving perspective, I would say absolutely. I mean, it's smoother than some Cadillacs I've been in. I think the drive quality is really nice. I think the handling is nice. And again, it's so quiet. From a material standpoint, in the interior, eh, I think they could push a little bit harder. It's sort of weird because I would say that from a tech and performance standpoint, GMC is doing a good job of providing a premium experience. There's this cool mirror that flips to sort of have a full view, not blocked by anything that's in the truck, and you can get heated and cooled seats. And again, it's very comfortable in here, very roomy. It's just the actual physical materials that are covering 
The interior, they're only okay. I sure wish I had somewhere to sit. Well, you look at that. I'm a fan of the half ton with diesel grunt. This is a good truck. GMC is doing it a little bit differently than some of the competitors with a focus on driving comfort and tech over top towing numbers. But unless you're hauling something every day, I'd say the three liter Sierra is a great workhorse to add to your stable. For more videos like this, please subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.